Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and let's talk about air cleaners. Right off the bat, why would you want to do that? Why do you want to take off a perfectly good air cleaner off your stock motorcycle and replace it? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Let's start with some show and tell. Stock air cleaners generally are very, very restrictive. And this one is a perfect example. This is off a Milwaukee 8 Softail, and it is basically sealed up very, very tight. Here's the intake into the throttle body, and this is the only hole your poor motorcycle gets to gasp through air from. Motorcycles and most engines in general are giant air pumps. The more air you get in, the more air you can get out. You can tune it in between, make more power, make more efficiency. Stock air filters are not very nice. They're very chintzy. This is a paper element, and almost every single stock one is a paper element. They tear up, you gotta replace them. You can't really service them, whereas if you replace it with a nicer unit, you get a lot more features. Let's talk about what the benefits are of upgrading. Something like this here, this is a K&N unit, and this is just a stock replacement. So if you wanted to keep your stock airbox, you really like that look for some reason, even though it is more restrictive as far as like how to get air into it, something like a K&N unit is going to actually breathe better. Even though it's still breathing through that same hole, you're gonna get more air in through their element and it is serviceable. You can wash these and re-oil them and they call them million mile filters. If you take care of a filter like this, it'll last you for the lifetime of the bike. Your bike will thank you for the ability to service it and you'll be getting more air in, getting a few more ponies. Before we go any farther and talk about types of air cleaners, I know this question's coming, so let's talk about it right now. If I change my air filter or if I change to a different style air cleaner altogether, do I need a tuner? I don't know about need, you're probably not gonna do any immediate damage to your motorcycle, but it is going to be much better for your motorcycle to have that tuner on there. Even stock bikes will benefit from a tuner. If you don't wanna get too complicated, something like a FP3 from Vance and Hines is a pretty great way to do that. It's very intuitive to use. I'll link you guys to some videos. You can see how these things work. They're great. If you have a carbureted bike, rejet those carbs, match that airflow coming in and out. All these air cleaners on the table are good air cleaners. We have one from Ness, we have one from Vance and Hines, we have one from SNS, we have another replacement from SNS, we have one from Cobra here. Basically, they're just different ways to skin the same cat. All these are going to do a very good job of getting air in and out of the bike. All these units on here are washable and reusable and they're a high flow filter. You don't want to get something that looks different but has the same junk paper filter that your stock one does. Something that has a washable, reusable, high flow filter is high up on the list. Something like a cone air filter actually works very, very well. It has a lot of surface area on it. A lot of these cone air filters, people like them because of their aesthetic and they do work perfectly well. Harley Davidson's for years and years and years and years now, they breathe through the heads. There's little bolts where these air cleaners bolt onto your motorcycle. Those bolts are actually hollow and they're helping your motorcycle breathe. So this bolt here is hollow. It would go through here somewhere. There's air coming out of there that's created in the engine that needs to get vented back into the engine. Something like the SNS Stealth, any of Ness's Big Sucker line or any of theirs have internal venting. So these vents are actually built into the backing plate. Where this breather bolt goes through, there's actually a passage coming through there and into where your throttle body or carb would be, allowing it to breathe back in there. So like on this Vance and Hines unit here, it has a simpler backing plate, but it uses these little hoses. We're missing a piece here just for display purposes, but it would bolt to your carb or your manifold, and then it would have another bracket that was holding it to the bike. That bracket is normally held on by the breather bolts, and then it would use hoses like this to let it breathe. These breather bolts, like I mentioned before, are hollow. It's gonna let it breathe. It's gonna feed it back into the intake. So depending on how you want the thing to look, how clean you want it to be, the style you're going for, that may be something else. But these little hoses here are very, very important when you're doing your install. They have a big job to let that motor breathe back into that intake. Another thing is cost where a lot of times the air cleaners that have the built-in breathing might be a little bit more expensive. You're paying for that engineering, you're paying for that tech just to have those hidden breathers. So lots of options to choose from here. What I wanna get into now is what you don't want. You don't want something with a tiny, tiny bit of surface area or even a velocity stack. Unless you're chopper builder extraordinaire or you're building something really, really old school, those velocity stacks or something with hardly any surface area for an air filter, like that can cause you some kind of big tuning issues, especially on carbureted bikes. They can kind of look cool, but they'll cause you tuning problems in the end. They're not really meant for late model bikes. The late model bikes need that surface area of that air cleaner, need that big rush of air coming in. You just won't get that from some of those smaller units. A little weird accessory you're gonna see for sale with air cleaners, something like this, the shape may be different 
depending on the air cleaner it's for, is this little hairnet looking job here called a rain sock. And it's not a bad idea to have one of these tucked away on a bag or a pocket somewhere on your bike. If you get caught in a rainstorm on a trip, something like this will keep that water off of that element, keep that air filter dry and the air coming into your machine dry. Not a bad little pickup to have in your bike if you're taking a trip. As always, have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment. Good work on those motorcycles.